Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, I think we're reaching end stage streaming war. Uh, well, not yet. They still have to eat each other. Well, they're eating each other. We're getting to the end. We're getting to the Think end. The Highlander. Where it's going to become Highlander. It's going to be Netflix all over again, which uh, is the one that started it all. Exactly. So Netflix apparently is on the prowl looking to buy up other studios. Weirdly enough, one of the studios they're looking at is Paramount. And Paramount made a big deal about how they're pulling all their content off mm -hmm. of Netflix and they were going to go start Paramount Plus. That's right, they did. And uh, we're, we're going to pull up some numbers here. Actually, Paramount Plus is the least watched streaming service now of all the major streaming services. And it is curious that this the timing of this conversation is coming up uh, after they purged a bunch of content off of their platform. So, you know, it could be that they're getting rid of stuff to get ready for some kind of an acquisition. Uh, the head of Paramount said they were open to negotiations. Basically, make us an offer. Oh, really? Yes. So That's let's, interesting. let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, you get a woohoo if you woo do. And uh, yeah, it's so weird because back in the day, Netflix was kind of the catch all for streaming. Everybody well, put their content on yeah, Netflix. Everybody was making things to go to like Netflix or what, you know, they yeah. were making stuff to go to Netflix. Um, now they, then they decided all oh, they're going to be their own streaming services and they make stuff for their own services. But then they have to be responsible for making sure that it gets popular and they have a fan base, which they don't really have much of one. And, and now they want to go back to just making content for another streaming service. <laughs> yeah, so this this reminds me of kind of like YouTube. Everybody wanted to be a YouTube competitor mm -hmm. and then they realized that like all the eyeballs are actually on right. YouTube or like the video game consoles. Everybody wanted to, you know, compete. They wanted to make their own video game console, not realizing like, hey, Nintendo and Sony pretty much have that locked down. It's gonna be really hard to compete. You're better off just making software. Right, it's like that. Yeah, you know, so let, there's, you know, less risk, more reward. Right. And I don't think these companies, and that includes Disney, I don't think they realized how expensive it was mm -hmm. going to be because you had the benefit of, well, people came on to Netflix, they would watch your shows, your competitors' shows, Netflix's own show. All they could see was Netflix is getting huge and they got huge off of our content partially, but they didn't realize that they had the infrastructure already there and you right. were not going to be able to do it. the infrastructure is not cheap. No, it's not cheap, but they've, they've already done it. They figured it out. Um, that being said, Netflix is kind of uh, having problems with their own content too, because most of the stuff they produce is garbage. Yeah, you know? they're, the joke was they'll greenlight anything, they'll greenlight and then they anything. had all those, those mandates in there, which I do think was part of what happened with the He Man. And I think that like, Anna Green Gables, have you seen that one? Oh my Woo! god, that was dark. I was like, hey, it's well, not just that. They changed like all this. They 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 made a lot of changes we, for we need, diversity inclusion purposes. Uh, we need more lesbians and uh, lesbian sex in Anna Green Gables because there just wasn't enough in the original, the original book. I guess I don't know. Um, yeah, Pinky Boo started watching it. And we're like, yeah, it's a little too adult. It's a mm -hmm. little too adult. Let's go back to the PBS one. Can we yeah, just go right? back to that? Um, so this is coming from the wrap. Netflix eyes big studios as it ramps up M and A. That would be uh, mergers and acquisitions, which. Mm -hmm. That's a Disney thing, too. They were buying up everybody. And a new evolution report, the streaming behemoth may add Paramount or another studio as it pivots to growth through acquisitions. And I already go Fat Princess and start rolling around and just, you know, getting bigger and bigger and bigger again. <laughs> Fat Princess. But, or, or April, otherwise known as April O'Neil. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was going to say, what, Cleopatra? Oh, no, no, no. They didn't make her fat. I don't know how this they is going to They just made do. her black. I've, I've seen... April's been... Look, once you go black, you can't go back. They made April black in one of the Nickelodeon show, and they will never make her white again. No, you're not allowed uh, to. You're not allowed. You're not allowed to walk it back. You're not allowed to say, "Hey, we're gonna uh, roll this back to the 1980s." It's not gonna happen. That being said, I don't know what I think about this. I saw the trailer. I'm like, eh. I think they're trying eh. to be uh, Spider, -verse. Spider Verse. Yeah, I don't hate it. I just and I think it's kind of fun. I just um I just don't know how it's gonna go. I think the problem. I don't I, like April O'Neil. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think the problem I'm having just in general with Ninja Turtles is there's no end. Like it's we basically go right from one reboot to another reboot to another reboot. There's like no pause in between. Like oh hey, it's been like five or six years since we've had another Turtles something. It'll be nice. No, it's like we're going right from like the Bay movies into this one. Yeah, however, I'm a little bit jealous that that's, an, that's such an evergreen property. You know, I would love to have a property that could be, you know. Recycled so often and still be popular. I think Eastman Laird got screwed. I don't know what they sold it to 
or I think it was uh, one of them. One, one of the one of the guys sold to the other guy, and then they sold it to Nickelodeon. And I think he got screwed because they just keep cranking out content. You know, and they're making all kinds of money. Anyway, Netflix could be eyeing a big acquisition like Paramount or another studio, thanks in part to a big run up in stock that could enable pivot to grow through mergers and acquisitions. Yeah, their to, stock's doing well. Yeah. Uh, according to Business Insider, the report Thursday noted that Netflix has made strategic purchases in the past, and they bought uh, Animal Logic, they bought the World Doll Company, and promptly ruined it. <laughs> um, they said for the first time since its founding 25 years ago, Netflix is looking for M and A to play a bigger role. Well, that's the fastest way to grow. If if your own shows suck, aren't you better off taking that money and buying another studio that makes shows that suck less? Or at least have well, an audience. No, but you know, you're better off in general buying a studio that doesn't suck. But instead, they're deciding to go with Paramount. I was, I was <laughs> getting there. I was getting there. I was getting there. Because uh, this is like this. This is damaged goods. Like you're gonna buy Paramount. Oh, okay. That's gonna that's gonna work out real well. Um, uh, among, yeah, great. So I mean, the Pink Ladies would definitely be on Netflix. Probably among the catalysts are the need to find new avenues for boosting subscribers, even as it separately uh, efforts to sign up users who were. Using that, even as it separately efforts to sign what pushes efforts to sign users who were avoiding payment by sharing passwords. You know, maybe you're looking at this the wrong way. Maybe they want to buy Paramount for another reason. Maybe they want to buy Paramount because they get all their content from Paramount. They already meet all their diversity and inclusion initiatives and they can actually make stuff people watch. Maybe, maybe. Um, it's a banker who's had conversations with the company told the outlet they're open for business. That's a new evolution. Streaming giant set had more than $6.7 billion in cash at the end of the first quarter. First quarter. And with shares soaring... Oh, their shares are way higher than like Disney. Yeah. Netflix has the powder needed to make deals. And right now, everybody's so damn desperate that they probably would take the deal. They, does it say power? Has the powder. Powder. <laughs> Was know. this written by AI? Probably. The stock has gained roughly 50% since the start of the year. It's up to 400 and some dollars. Uh, some company watchers point out that Netflix now has a stock that could make sense to use as currency for a big acquisition like Paramount or another studio. Paramount has been seen as an acquisition target since 2019. Mm -hmm. When they merged with, yeah, Viacom and CBS. Yep. Thanks to its relatively low market cap. Uh, it's now 10.2 billion down from 26 billion. So buy 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 it cheap, basically. Buy it cheap. Netflix reportedly held talks with Paramount in the past, but was interested only in the library, not the broadcast operations of CBS or the cable networks. Uh, then they talk about Warner Brothers. Paramount has been shopping at Bet Media Group. Uh, Paramount Global CFO. This is where it gets interesting. Wait, they're trying to Paramount's trying to unload Bet. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. There, so many things could be said about I that. I know. Paramount Global CFO Naveen Chopra told investors earlier this month the company is very open-minded about potential opportunities. Whether Paramount is a seller of assets into consolidation or whether we are a consolidator of assets, we'll have to see. So let's... Well, consider how your, your value is dropping off a cliff. I don't think you have that many assets that are worth you know getting rid of. So if we look at where we're at in the streaming war right now, Paramount's at the bottom of the heap. However, it has the most of them. It has one of the larger momentum. That's true. I That's, don't see how. Uh, people are running away. That's momentum. But, they, but they, they have they have a bit more momentum, but a lower audience impact. Yeah, yeah. So I, you know, I don't know. It's it's really interesting uh, to look at this. That it would make sense. We're eventually we're going to see some consolidation of these services because there are too many of them. And it would be very ironic if we went back to where we were just a couple of years ago where so many other you know streaming services just have their content on Netflix. You just go to Netflix for everything. Jeez, if Max just get their momentum up a little bit, they'd be pretty much equal in all their sectors. I know, right? It's kind of crazy. But, uh, you know, there's definitely something going on because they did just cancel a bunch of shows, including uh, Star Trek Prodigy, which surprised mm -hmm. me that they canceled a Star Trek show. You know, uh, but it's expensive. It's animation. It's expensive. But yeah, they didn't just cancel them. They and you did a video on this. They canceled them and they dumped it off the platform. Right, they're completely. trying to shop it around, which would be what they're talking enough. Like it could just be a matter of you can buy this content that no one wants to watch. If they won't watch it on Paramount Plus, what makes you think they'll watch it on Netflix? Well, they might stand to make more money because it might be how they're. I, I don't know exactly how you get paid on Netflix, but it might be like watch time. So they have a better chance of making some money 
dumping it onto Netflix than trying to do it watch themselves. Netflix and Paramount Plus. Right, right. Maybe by just sheer volume and statistics, it might make more money, but... Somebody will just accidentally watch the Pink Ladies. Not you don't accidentally watch Pink Ladies. You know? It's or, like you don't accidentally get high. Or you don't <laughs> accidentally, you know, fall on someone's penis. It just doesn't happen. Whoops. Anyway, our, uh, are we going to wrap this one up? Yeah. I think we're going to wrap this one up. Yep. So here we go, guys. It's Highlander. And I think we're, we're hitting the end of the line here. No, now we got to see who gets to cut who. It's going to get interesting. It's going to be very interesting. Who's getting their head lopped off first? All right. So please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.